It's full steam ahead for a project meant to boost the economy in eastern Kentucky. Organizers behind a railroad heritage center in Estill County broke ground today for a long-awaited tourist site known as The Yard. Danielle Miskell joins us now with more about the committee that's been working on the project. Danielle. Yes, the Kentucky Rail Heritage Center is being called a multi-use tourist attraction that will feature old parts of American railroads, plus new features from restaurants to a music venue. How can we honor that past but move forward in a new direction and recreate an economy and bring people here and share your culture? It's going to be 45 acres of vibrant natural beauty spread across a rail-centered campus featuring locomotives built as early as 1918 from states surrounding Kentucky. It gives a nod to our proud history, but it'll provide more than the jobs just associated with this place here. And it's exactly why we needed to make the yard a reality. The economic impact of the visitors will be felt by Eastern Kentucky businesses and community partners, replacing revenue that's been lost over the years, as well as restoring the environment. So this $500,000 cleanup grant that the EPA has awarded Kentucky STEAM is specifically going to be used to cap the contaminated surface soils that are in the area of the amphitheater. We're going to see the footprint of that today. The Rail Center will have restaurants, food trucks, train rides, steam locomotive demonstrations, and concerts to cap off the evenings. And that very first artist is standing center stage singing that very first song in this community right on the other side of this building. That song will resound in this community and let everyone know that this community is alive. Eastern Kentucky already draws tourists from around the world to experience the Natural Bridge, Red River Gorge, and soon to join the list, the Kentucky Rail Heritage Center. Come back in a couple years after more happens, and you're going to be like, wow. And even though the rail center won't be completed for another two years, you can still grab a caboose ticket, and they have a program for aspiring engineers. For more information, visit fox26news.com, and we'll have that information linked up for you. Martin Amani, back to you.